often wonder if Dr. Michael Greger or say Dr. Neil Barnard or Dr. Joel Furman ever got diagnosed with cancer. What would they do? There are many extraordinary stories, whilst completely anecdotal, on Chris Walk's YouTube channel, Chris Beat Cancer, of people who have fought and have seemingly appeared to beat cancer without conventional treatment. But I'm always curious about the plant-based medical doctors who have been trained in the medical system and what they would do. I remember hearing Dr. Michael Clapper once mentioning Dr. Keith Block's clinic near Chicago that uses diet and lifestyle changes alongside conventional treatments. Dr. Dean Ornish was able to just use diet and lifestyle changes in his early stage prostate cancer study as all the patients had a type of early stage localized watch and wait prostate cancer. But what would Dr. Greger do if he was diagnosed with cancer? Well, this question was put to him in a Q&A. As I did before, I've put this audio through Adobe Enhance, as Dr. Greger's treadmill was quite loud in the background. Hopefully, it sounds clearer. If I was personally diagnosed with cancer, what I consider chemo and radiation, or where I try combating it, was diet. Ah, or would you do both? Ah, I like that there's another option there. So, it would depend on the cancer. So for some cancers, such as testicular cancer and childhood leukemia, chemotherapy has remarkable, wonderful success rates. Truly, these are triumphs. Unfortunately, for most cancers, most common cancers, breast, lung, colon, etc., very disappointing. In fact, I have a video recently came out talking about the improvement in five-year survival, right? Dismal. So I'd have to make a decision always, as with anything, particularly in medicine, it has to do with something life and death important, a healthier family, risks versus benefits. And so I'd see, I mean, is this really going to help me? Is it just going to shrink the tumor? Who cares if my tumor shrinks, if I don't get to live longer or feel better? Or maybe even if it doesn't make me live longer, by shrinking the tumor, it'll take pressure off some nerve and I'd have less pain. That's the legitimate um, reason. But regardless of what I'm doing, all of the above, you could still eat healthy. And so absolutely, I would eat a super healthy diet. And again, that particular diet would depend on what kind of cancer. So, you know, I have data on, for example, breast cancer survival with flax seeds and soy foods, improving breast cancer survival, decreasing recurrence rates. There's a lung cancer study on survival of broccoli consumption, that esophageal cancer study with strawberries. Um, so there may be some foods that may be better um, than others for particular cancers. Oh, and there was this, that great case report out of True North with that lymphoma case treated with water only fasting followed by a plant-based diet that was really impressive anyway next we'll hear dan's amazing cancer recovery story 